Greetings and salutations. I am Poetic Heretic, and the following is a story of what might be the origins of Jeff the Killer. One prevalent type of sinister website is those that are supposedly haunted in some form, or linked in some way to the supernatural. One well-known story of a ghost on the internet is that of a 4chan user named Katie Robinson. In 2008, Katie allegedly posted a photo of herself onto the site's image board and was subsequently mercilessly berated and bullied for being overweight. The next day, another 4chan user claiming to be Katie's sister came on to say that the girl had been so morose over the insults that she had killed herself. So far, so creepy, but it gets much weirder. Not long after this alleged death, posts began popping up online of a bizarre individual called Jeff the Killer, who appeared as an incredibly pale-faced person with distorted features, a gaping insane smile, and blank, shark-like eyes. The extremely disturbing images became an internet sensation, a pervasive meme, and Jeff the Killer quickly worked his way into web lore. When some internet users began trying to figure out just where the strange, obviously digitally altered photos of Jeff the Killer had come from, some noticed that in the earlier photos the demonic-looking individual bore a strange similarity in appearance to the dead Katie Robinson, including the hairstyle and a distinctive mole on her face. This theory that the photos of Jeff the Killer were altered, photoshopped images of Katie Robinson further propelled the creepy tale into legend. One theory is that the original photo of Jeff the Killer was an altered picture of Katie taken by a person who had murdered her, or that the picture had been taken by one of her tormentors and changed as a practical joke, after which it had been further heavily photoshopped and doctored by other internet users to become ever more frightening. Some have said that in later incarnations of the Jeff the Killer photos, the eyes have been replaced with those of a corpse and the jaw that of a dead dog. A more far-out theory is that Jeff the Killer is the restless ghost of Katie herself, haunting the internet. It is unknown just what the true origins of Jeff the Killer are, or indeed if there really ever was a Katie Robinson who killed herself over cyberbullying. So it all remains speculation and spooky lore, but it is damn creepy all the same. That concludes this disturbing story. Don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.